All right, in this video, let's create a fun uh, little uh, game icon. So I need to create a lightning um, icon. So then I could use it in the game. So there's a couple different ways we could do it. We could um, download a font and then use the text tool to actually just give us a shape of the lightning icon. Or we could just go to modeling and just simply um, on the grid draw out our icon manually so let's try that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to create polygon and maybe i should just be in the top view actually so let's create a shape of what we want the lighting icon to look like so maybe i'm thinking like a classic z shape right so maybe something something like this maybe and now what I can do is I can go to my vertex points and I can move these around to sort of I'm looking for something fun and gamey so I don't know if I wanted I'm trying to figure out um, Actually, you know what? I don't really need two of these points. I'm going to merge these together. It's kind of throwing me off because I want this part to be thicker, but I don't need two points up there. So something like this is actually what I was looking for. So this is kind of tapering down and then this is kind of has this fun shape. So this is um, all I want. All right. So now if I press space bar, jump back in here, I could see what my icon looks like so far. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it, go to extrude, and let's just pull some thickness out of this. So maybe something, something like this. I can right click, go to object mode, and I'm gonna, I like to always have this uh, on here so I can see my wireframe. Let's move this up above the grid so we can see it a little better. Let's grab our rotation tool, hold down the J key, and you can see when you do that, it's actually activating the step snap. If you hold down the J key, you can actually control the angle at which you're rotating. And if you don't see this, you can just double click on your uh, tool and you should see tool settings come up. And I like to duck my tool settings to the left of my tools. And again, if I hold on the J key, I can see I'm switching to rotation snapping and I can just kind of snap this 90 degrees. And on the bottom left, if you pay attention, uh, you could see there's degrees switching on the very bottom left. So it goes 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. So this is what I want. All right, and then if I look here, I can see my Z axis, which is the front of the model. And this is looking good. I'm gonna move this up. And um, next, maybe I can also add some beveled edges to this. So actually, let's select all the edges and just simply click on our bevel button here. And maybe make it something like this, 0.4. Okay, um, another thing we can do is maybe we don't want some of these, some of this geometry here uh, in case it might cause us problems down the line. So what I'm going to do is turn on my uh, symmetry, grab this tool here, and let's just merge some of these points. I don't really need this geometry here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I know I turned on the symmetry, so that didn't work. And I'm not quite sure why, but that's okay. It's just a very simple uh, fix. All right, so this is what I wanted. I think that looks really cool as a uh, lightning, kind of a lightning bolt icon. And 
if we wanted to we can even do some more customization maybe we can merge these points here and I could press G to repeat my last task so I kind of like that and let's do the same thing here I'm gonna press G to repeat I'm clicking on each point and then holding shift to do a, another one and then pressing G to merge them so let me take a look so yeah this is uh, what I was looking for so you could see this is a very simple shape it only has um, 72 tries it's great for a game icon and if we wanted to uh, quickly see what that looks like with some uh, color we could do that we can go to our materials let's create a material let's create create something really simple like uh, let's see how about like uh, Fong is fine and I'm gonna select my shape existing material and assign our new Fong material and now you can see if I actually drag this around make sure that Fong is selected if I drag this slider around you can see I'm controlling the color of this so maybe I want it to be kind of this color and maybe I want it to be a little more reflective so that looks really cool so that is how you would create a quick little uh, lightning icon in uh, Maya I hope you found this useful uh, subscribe for more cool videos and I'll see you in the next video